Well, hello there. I am Richie Davis, the Camp Cornish Chatterbox. Now, I'm just going to come out and say it. I've got a rather large penchant for the popster Kylie Minogue. Now, I don't know what it is about Kylie. To me, she's the whole package. Oh, and she's short. Now, I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff I've got. DVDs, CDs. I've even got her autograph tattooed on my arm. I just love entertainment and some of the people that I look up to in the entertainment world are old school. We're talking Jennifer Saunders, Kathy Burke, Caroline Hearn. But what I like about these guys, they just get out there and get the work done. They're not interested in their new perfume or being on the front cover of OK. It's a uh, job done, like it or leave it. I'm joined by Paloma Faith. Hello, Paloma. This is live. I can say anything. I could do anything. Oh, I'll send something. Like Just that. stay tuned and you'll find out. <laughs> the new album, Fall to Grace, uh, you say it's a homage to cinema. Mm. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? What kind of films you like it? What inspires, what inspired the album? Well, I love all cinema, really. I'm a bit of a film buff. So, as you already know, Kylie is my number one, but I am a huge music fan. I'm so eclectic. I've pretty much got everything on my iPod. But if I was to sum up who my favourite entertainers are, it would have to be one, Michael Jackson, because he's the reason I became a dancer. Number two, Freddie Mercury, because pff, what a showman. He just commanded the stage and with his signature move. But if we're talking real talent, I've got a soft spot for Karen Carpenter, because there's something about her story and her music that just melts me. So on my interesting route to show business, I picked up a few skills. In fact, I trained to be a chef for three years. Yes. I do, however, still make a bloody handsome pasty. Look at that. Do you want one? Do you want one? Musical guilty pleasures. We've all got one, and mine is the swinging 60s. Obviously, on low when I'm on the tube. So I want to know what's lurking on your iPod. Probably Glee. Glee! Glee. Definitely listened to quite a bit of Ace of, Ace of Base. Oh, really? <laughs> <Sweetest. laughs> cool. Wait about this, is like we're getting retro now. It's really bad. Fun. Go on, how bad? Tell Aqua. Aqua! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jones! Dr. Dr. Jones! Jones. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Between me and you, guilty pleasure. Sounds more like a Saturday night out for me, love. Modern day dating. Now, we can get everything we want in the dating world through one of these. But what happened to old-fashioned dating, the courting? I want to find out what modern-day dating is really like. Welcome to Appley Ever After. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would you have? And that's Simon Forbes on Twitter. Um, I would have a. I would like to have a white tiger. <laughs> it couldn't have just been but a like chinchilla have, or something. I'd like to have help. To help me look after it though as well. But I would like to take it for a walk on a lead in the park. How on earth would you do that? Maybe. In stilettos. So that's me, Richie Davis, Kylie Loving, Hasty Making, Ginger Cornish Chatterbox, and hopefully I'll be chatting to you very soon. Or I can make your pasty. <laughs> <laughs>